good morning to all of you and thank you for being here to remember and recall Norma. This hasn't been an easy week. I'm Don Hartman. I'm Norma's cousin. I'm closest to her in age. And of all the people I've known in my life, No one I know ever squeezed as much from her life as Norma. No one I have known has produced such a rich expression of her inner self as Norma. She was the most remarkable, talented person I've ever met. And it wasn't just her gift of seeing things I couldn't see, or doing things I couldn't do, that was so special to me. It was her spirit. She worked tirelessly to produce a result that had to meet her own high standards, her own expectations. She saw an end product in her mind's eye, and she would not rest until that vision came to reality. It's mind-boggling to think about the thousands of hours she spent producing all those beautiful works of art. The photos, the metalworking, the books. If it wasn't right, she did it over. What discipline, what determination, spirit. Her artistic talent was what she was born with. But it was her drive and determination that made the most of God's given resources for her. It was a spirit that brought that she brought to bear in her fight against cancer. And we know it was a fight. Norma was not one to sit back and let life roll over her. She pushed, she resisted the same determination she had exhibited in all of her life's work in art. One of the enduring memories I have of her dates back to just about a year ago this week when I came to Bath with my daughter Anna, who was a college student, to meet Norma and have lunch. And we met at Maxwell's. I'm sure we're all familiar with Maxwell's. And my daughter, who's her, a bit of a clothes horse herself and had a critical eye for style, I was very impressed with Norma's wig, her hat, especially her yellow Miata with the license plate that says, I go zoom. It's Anna and I. left Maxwell's to walk back to our car. She passed us at the time. Her blonde wig was floating in the air. The sun was shining down. It seemed like all was well with her. You would have thought she didn't have a care in the world. But at this time, she knew her disease was progressing. She just told me recently that her cancer markers are up again. But never once did I hear her complain. Never once did she show anger. Never once did she say life cheated her. She lived life on her own terms. She didn't retreat. She didn't complain. Even in these last few months, she was learning how to play the steel guitar. For Norma, life was meant to be lived to the fullest, not as an easy stroll, but as a purposeful stride towards goals that we could only dream of. It was a
sort of speed ramp at a certain level, say, to a customer. Cognizant. 